Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a five product makeup face and it's the look that I have on today and I've just used five products. So I have half my face done here and then my lips and my base which is a tinted moisturizer already on. So what I use for my tinted moisturizer is the Origins Vita Zing SPF 15 Energy Boosting Moisturizer and this is what it looks like and it comes in this one shade called Sheer Tint um, and at first it looks really light but I have it on my skin right now I don't think that um, it's too light or too dark um, when I do go darker in the summertime I can't wear this but fall winter it's great for my skin tone and if you're lighter you can probably get away with this as well and then on my lips I have the same thing on my cheeks and that's the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Jelly in Pink Escape and I'll show you how I put that on. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is start off with some eyeshadow and I have the MAC Loose Pigment in Naked. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like here. And I'm going to be using a Delium Tools Flat Eyeshadow Brush to put that on. You can use some uh, water or fix plus for a more intense shadow but I like this kind of neutral look and it goes on quite um, light for me but it probably looks more natural if you have a lighter skin tone so once you have a base like that I just take a fluffy brush and just go over that because it's loose um, it can fall out so going over with a fluffy brush just eliminates the amount of fall you'll get throughout the day. And I do this about a couple of times just to intensify the color. And you can put on as little or as much as you'd like. That's what I like about these pigments is you can really control the amount of shadow you get. And they're really versatile too. Um, I've seen people use pigments like in nail polish or also mix it in as a highlighter, which you can also do with this naked one, at least for my skin because it is so light. So once you're happy with the eyeshadow, um, you can move on to some concealer, and I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti Fatigue Effect Plus Radiant Glow in the color medium, and I've talked about this before, it's one of my favorite concealers, and I'm just going to apply just right under my eye. And you can use it wherever you need coverage or extra coverage that the tinted moisturizer didn't cover. And I'm using one of these sponges just to put that on there and make sure it's worked into my skin. You can also go in with your fingers for anywhere, like to get really close into the tear duct area. Because I find that I haven't found a sponge that's really thin enough and spongy enough that gets into this inner area. And once you're happy with that, we can move on to the cheeks. So I have the cheek jelly here in Pink Escape, and I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush, and I'm literally just dipping in the top here. I find this is the best application. I find that fingers don't really work well for me, the brushes work best. So just smile and put that on. And this is made with coconut water, so it's really nice and light, whereas I find cream products have a lot of oils in them, and they can look greasy at the end of the day, but this is a really nice natural look. So if you do have combination oily skin and like a natural look, but don't like the cream-based products, this one's a good one to go with. And the last thing I'm going to do is put on some mascara, and I have the... Um, what is this? The L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions. This is like by far the best mascara I've ever used. I just think that um, the brush is really great, the formula is really great, and you can get it in a waterproof formula or this regular one. I use the regular one, but I hear the waterproof one is equally as great, if not better. Alright, so that is my five product makeup look. So I had the mascara, the tinted moisturizer, um, the cheek jelly here, 
the concealer, and then last but not least, the MAC pressed, or not pressed, MAC loose pigment. So I hope you enjoyed this look, and I'll see you later for my next video. Thanks so much for watching.